hello my dear students i'm back with a new video today's video is something which is related to lower grades as well as higher grades so this video is going to be meant for lower and higher both so without a delay let's start with this video right you can see here a ray of light is passing through something it's probably a glass slab right so it's a transparent glass slab and through which the ray of light is passing right look at this here the ray of light is again passing okay it's passing from water going to the air so basically the ray of light is passing from one transparent medium to another and such phenomenon is called as refraction of light so uh, let's understand the world of refraction of light so what is refraction of light so as i told you that this video is important for lower grades that is 7 and 8 at the same time the next part will be uh, important for grade 9 and 10 so let's start what are the objective of this video what are things are very important this first is we will understand what is refraction of light is all about second is what is optical density of the medium okay like we say that the ray of light is passing through one transparent medium to another okay so when it is passing it is refracted so it is because of the optical density so we will understand what is optical density of the medium uh, this is not the same same density what mass density we talk about something else again we are going to talk about the laws of refraction we will also be talking about the refractive index and the angle of incidence refraction and emergence everyone so also a very important topic called total internal reflection so these are the topics so let's begin the first is what is the refraction of light the topic begins here you can see here uh, this pencil seems to be broken right but actually it is not it seems to be broken it is we can perceive it is as a broken but it is not broken right it's only happening because of the refraction of light you can see here the fish which is actually here okay the red line where it is showing it is actually here but this fish is seen here this is a virtual position of the fish so it, the fish is actually here but it is seen here so it's only because of the refraction of light so what is refraction of light refraction is the change in the direction of light when it passes from one transparent medium to another so what is refraction refraction is nothing but when a ray of light you can see when the ray of light is passing from one transparent medium that is from water to the air it is not following the same path rather it is bending it is changing its direction and this particular phenomenon of the ray of light changing its direction is known as refraction so what is refraction is the change in the direction of light when it passes from one transparent medium to another moving on next very important refraction of light here we're talking about i have a ray of light when it is falling obliquely we saw that it is getting refracted okay it is bending it is changing its direction but what happens when a ray of light is falling perpendicular or 90 degree to the uh, the transparent medium means this ray of light is coming from air it is going to the glass and this ray of light is falling perpendicular at 90 degree so look at this when the ray of light is going to fall perpendicular or the 90 degree this light will not bend it will go straight it will go undeviated so when a ray of light is falling perpendicular it is not deviated only when the ray of light is falling obliquely then only it is refracted then it is deviated so if the light enters another medium perpendicular or at 90 degree the ray does not bend it goes undeviated something very important let's talk about everybody here what we're talking about look at this here we have uh, air we have a water two transparent medium and air is supposed to be a dense uh, rarer medium and the water is supposed to be a denser medium i'm coming with the word optical density now when you're saying rarer medium the optical density is less when you're saying denser medium optical density is more so we're talking about the two medium that is air and the water whose optical density is different so air optical density is less water optical density is more look at this here what are things we have here 
okay something very important here I have a ray of light which is incident it is coming from air going to the water so this is called as incident ray incident ray the ray of light which is falling onto the from one medium and going to the another so this is incident ray and it, this dotted line which you can see is a normal so this is a normal and the normal and incident ray makes an angle called angle of incidence i this i is called as what angle of incidence please remember this what is angle of incidence angle of incidence always remember this okay you can see here one more angle is here this angle this is not angle of incidence angle of incidence is always normal and incident ray makes an angle called angle of incidence similarly now after passing through as we know that this ray of light is going to bend so it is bending so after bending this ray of light is called as refracted ray and this refracted ray in the normal the angle which they make is denoted as small r and this is called as angle of refraction what do you call it as angle of refraction denoted as small r and what is the angle of refraction it is the angle made by normal and the refracted ray right let's talk about it what we can see here when a ray of light is coming from the rarer medium to the denser medium where it is bending it is bending towards the normal so it is going towards the normal so normal ki taraf ja raha so it's bending towards the normal now i is angle of incident r is the angle of refraction as we talked about here let's understand what happens when the ray of light is passing from the denser medium to rarer medium right so you can see here the ray of light is coming from denser that is optical density is more of the water and the optical density is less of the air so when it is coming from denser medium to rarer medium can you see that it is bending away from the normal this angle is more so if previously if you see in this one the r is less but here if you look at this r is more so when a ray of light travels denser medium that is from water to air that is denser to rarer or it is refracted or it is bending away from the normal so how to remember this everybody simple we all know doctors and we would like to go to the doctor only when we are very sick or ill otherwise we don't visit doctor so we always want the doctor to be away from us so easy to remember doctor away is it to remember doctor away here d stand for denser r stand for rarer so denser to rarer away from the normal simple so denser to rarer away from the normal obviously if i reverse it rarer to denser it will be towards the normal so simple to remember doctor away easy to remember denser to rarer away from the normal i is called as angle of incident and r is called as angle of refraction moving on next year you can see here all the rays have been mentioned here you can see this is a ray of light which is coming and it's called as incident ray we have a normal which is making 90 degree angle with this this is a glass which is a uh, denser medium and the ray of light which is bending here is called as refracted ray okay sometimes when a ray of light is falling on a glass a entire ray is not refracted some might get reflected so here uh, the reflected ray is also shown here and then after that again on this surface obviously when the ray of light is coming to the uh, another transparent medium it will not stay okay it is going to go out so similarly when the ray of light is going to the glass after glass it is emerging out it's going out it's going to the air right rather so when it is going into the air again it is bending so this time it's going from denser to rarer so it will bend away from the normal and this the ray of light which is coming out is called as emergent ray what we call it as emergent ray so here we can see that the ray of light is bending at two different places okay one is here when it is entering and when it is going out emerging out so we find that two refraction here so one is from rarer to denser and the second one is from denser to rarer so here light is bending on passing from the air to glass and then again passing from the glass to air to vice bending is taking place here right moving on next everybody we talking about the denser error denser error what is this denser error are we talking about the uh, mass density no 
that is we are talking about the optical density now what is optical density everybody see optical density should not be confused with the mass density what is mass density mass density is nothing but mass per unit volume which is called density that is called as mass density mass upon volume but here we are talking about something called as optical density so what is optical density so it is possible that the mass density of an optical denser medium may be less than the optical rarer medium see denser to rarer optical density of the denser medium may be less than the mass density of the optical denser medium may be less than the optical density of the rarer medium so they are not same they are different for example okay uh, you can say what is the optical density optical density is, in, density is nothing but the ratio of speed of light in two media so what is let's say you're talking about the air and glass so what is the speed of light in air and divided by what is the speed of light in glass okay speed of light in air speed of light in glass i'm talking about so this ratio will be called as will decide the optical density of the medium right okay example like i told no the uh, dense mass density of an optically dense medium may be less than look at this here for example turpentine is higher than the density of the turpentine is higher than the water while the mass density is low optical density of turpentine is higher it's more denser but if you talk about the mass density it is lower so that's what i'm saying you should never get uh, you ne never uh, compare that key mass density and the then uh, and the optical density are same they're different okay mass density is mass upon volume and the optical density is the ratio of the speed of light into media right we're moving ahead now we're talking about i have two medium air and water you can see the ray of light is coming from air going to the water so what do we say it is bending towards the normal right we know that doctor away so but then here it is coming from rarer to denser obviously it will bend towards the normal so try and understand how it is happening suppose this car is coming from the rarer medium and is going to the denser medium now when it is coming first which tire is going to touch the denser medium obviously if i'm talking about this car coming so obviously the right hand tires will touch the denser medium first so when the right hand tires will touch that time left tires will be still in rarer medium so the force which is going to be applicable to the right tires will be more so finally where will it bend it will bend towards the normal so it will bend towards the right a bit so if this is coming this car is coming this is right tire this is left tire when it is coming here the right tire is touching here so obviously the force will be here more so it will bend little on this side and go ahead so that is why we say that when a ray of light is coming from rarer medium to denser medium this bending towards the normal here okay similarly we have vice versa when a ray of light is going from denser medium to rarer medium okay it is coming from sand to the bench bench we are considering as a smooth surface so obviously look at this here when it is coming the tires here this is the right tire this is the left tire now here when it is coming here so this which tire is touching the surface first okay when it is coming here rather i'm talking about so obviously it is going to get freed here this this obviously the right tire will touch here okay but then since it is a rarer medium so it will apply less force so where will it bend it will bend towards left try and understand this car is coming this is the right hand side this is the left hand side this right is touching here but since it is a rarer medium so it will not apply force on this rather the more force is applied onto the denser side so it is bending slightly onto this side and it is going so that is why we say then saying that when it is going from denser to rarer bending away from the normal right so always remember that with this uh, we come to an end of uh, refraction of light video part 1 i'll be back soon with the refraction of light video part 2 till then thank you so much thanks for watching